Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my shop my stash rotation update. Right? <laughs> I can't I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I've only been doing these for about a year now. My first year was tumultuous to say the least this year I'm trying to be better at it and I'm trying to go through more so we're trying to update every single month and that is where we're at right now I am first going to walk through the products that were in my shop my stash give you my thoughts and opinions on them and then we will pick new products and then you will get to see me put those products away with all the ticky tacky noises that everybody loves so so much through ASMR or whatever it is we are going to just jump in and if that sounds like something you're interested in I do hope that you will keep on watching for those of you new here hi my name is Donna I am a lover of all things high-end colorful beauty and self-care I also work as a district leader for Ulta Beauty, so I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you all that education through my channel, through things like reviews, hauls, shop my stashes, project pans, those kind of things. But I also just kind of love to talk about makeup, and I pick you Pikachu to talk to, because if you're here, you also love to talk about makeup. So if general makeup chit chat sounds like something that you're interested in, I do hope that you will subscribe before you go. With that said, let's jump into the shop my stash because these are always super long and I don't wanna keep you here any longer than you wanna be here. So first let's go through these two. There's not much in this one and this one has all the lip products that I use throughout the month in here. So I don't pull mascaras or eyeliners into my shop my stash, I just use those. I like to be able to pick and choose what I wanna use in the moment as far as eyeliner and mascara goes. And I always have a mascara open. Let's start with this drawer which had these two items in it and it had the Pero Primero primer that is an eye primer it says long wear sticky pigment base I hated this eye primer um but I think because I didn't read the label before I started to use it I do think that it would probably be a great base for a pigment like it says or like a loose glitter or something it is very sticky and when I did use this a couple times on an eye look it destroyed the eye look so I will be putting this back in my drawers and using it as a, a glue because I do think that it works well as a glue as a pigment primer as a glitter primer something along those lines but do not use this as an eye primer it is awful as an eye primer it is very very sticky and then the second thing that I had in this drawer was this, and this is the NYX Professional Eyebrow Pencil. And this is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I do think that this is a great eyebrow pencil, but I also feel like this pulls very, very red in my brows. That is a problem for me with NYX pencils, to be honest. They all pull very, very warm on me. And warm is just not the angle that I'm going for with my brows. So this will probably get decluttered. I will probably give it to my daughter. You guys can see it just leans a little bit red. I put, just for reference, I use the Precisely in gray by Benefit in my brows. So this will go and this will stay. And the next thing I have in this shop, my stash, are lip products. And I have quite a few here. So the two that I didn't use at all, y'all, were these two. So these ones I'm going to keep in rotation. These are the Juvia's Place pencils. The next one was this one, and this is the Huda Beauty Spice Girl liner, and it is what is on my lips today. I do like this liner a lot. It leans very, very dark brown, almost kind of like a maroon shade, and I really kind of like it with a lighter tone like lipstick or gloss in the center so it kind of evens out the tone that I want to go with the lips. I did love this. What I will say about this is this is quite a bit drier than many other lip liners that I have in my collection and I'm just not sure that it hasn't gone not bad necessarily because it still works and it's still creamy and it still goes on really really well but I'm just not sure that it's not too old but I'm gonna hold on to it. We'll see about it in another like rotation maybe. 
I did have some lip crayons in here. I had these two lip crayons. This one is the Tarte Lip Crayon in Exposed, and this is what is on my lips today. I did use quite a bit of it. It did have like a point to it when I first put it in for rotation. I did quite like it. It is uh, kind of creamy, not too creamy, not move, move around my lips creamy, but it does wear away rather nicely. I do love me a lip cram because they're just easy to use if I'm honest. This one is the Bite Beauty one and I do believe it is in the shade Glaze and I love this. It is retractable. I've had to roll it up a couple times. It has a little bit deeper of a mauve tone to it than the Tarte one. The Tarte one is a lot um, like more coral so this one on bottom is Tarte. That one up top is Bite Beauty and I, I love them both. I think the Tarte one is a little more wet looking than the Bite Beauty one. The Bite Beauty one definitely appears more matte in a lip look, but I like them both. I will keep them both. I did have some lip glosses in here. I had the two Pat McGrath lip glosses and a Clinique lip gloss. I just love them all so much. This one is so, so pretty. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. I mean, look at that. How pretty is that? Like, I just love it so much. So this was probably my favorite of the bunch. And this is in Naked Rose. And that is what I just put on my lips right there. Holy cow. So, so pretty. I love it. I would buy a full size of that. This one is in the shade. This one's in the shade Flesh 4 Lust. And I, I don't know if it's Lust Gloss or if it's called Lust. I'm not sure. This is it right here. It's just a really pretty like corally brownish tone. It's just really pretty. And it went over the top of this lip liner that I have on today really, really well. It's not what I'm wearing today, but I did. This one is Clinique Pinot Pop. Pin, pin, Pinot Pop. P-I-N-O-T Pop. And it's just a really pretty, I wore this on its own quite, quite often. It's just a really pretty berry tone. I can't see myself getting rid of that. It's really gorgeous. And on its own, it's like the perfect gloss. There's the one thing I can say about Clinique glosses is they last forever. So I wanted to show you too, you can still kind of see the line from the lip liner that I put on. So this Huda Beauty one is gonna go on, it's gonna stay on. I do have a lip stain in here. This is the ABH lip stain in Dusty Rose, I do believe. And you guys, I fell in love with this over this last month. Like I have a red one too that I might actually break out because I had such a good time with this. It doesn't wear away in a ineffective way. It stays on your lips like crazy sauce. You can put it on and then your lips are stained. This really pretty natural like pinky tone. It was just so accentuating in the right way. Uh, I really did like it, so I will keep it in my collection. And then I had two Clinique lipsticks. I had this one, which is in Mocha Pop, my favorite of the two, if I'm honest. Look at how pretty that is. It's like a brown berry shade. Really, really pretty. And then this one um, was honestly really great for like the middle of the lip because it was just like pinky fleshy colored enough that it really brought a pop to that middle of the lip. And then of course I have my lip scrub in here that has lasted me 500 years and this will stay in here. So next I have this. This is the Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. This is what it looks like. I used both of these so, so much. One of them is a beautiful like mauve tone and then the other one is a little more coral really really pretty love them both the powders are so silky smooth go on really really well and don't exacerbate any kind of texture on your face you do have to build them up quite a bit these are really hard pressed in here i don't know if it's just because this is like a trio that she made for holiday or what 
but they are beautiful and because of my experiences with these I would purchase a full size for sure of any of her single blushes. They're really pretty too because they kind of had this like almost glowiness to them. I really love them a lot and then this highlight was not a bad highlight. It was actually really pretty. I felt like it went on the skin really nicely. It also did not exacerbate texture and it kind of looked a little more natural. It's just a very, very natural highlight. Yeah, there you go. With a little bit of a pink kick. It is so, so pretty and went really well. Honestly, I loved these two together. It looked beautiful. I didn't like it so much with this blush, but I did like it with the middle blush. This blush is what I'm wearing today. This is the Ritual Defi Love Sick Inner Glow Cream Pigment. So not really a blush, but not really not a blush. This is what the shade is, but you guys can see it's just very pinky on my skin. I think it's beautiful and it's a really hard packed cream blush so I actually found that my favorite way to get this on my face is either with my finger after warming it up in here or with a brush and kind of stippling it on and then warming it up with my finger so either way I'm using my finger for it but um it's a really beautiful blush I'm really happy to have it and I'm really happy that I got more time with it because I know that I had a couple other Ritual of the Fee pro products in uh, Shop My Stash previously and I was still kind of like on the fence on whether I liked the product or not I really had a good time with this blush. The next one I have is this. This is the Lunar Beauty um, Moon Prism Palette. It is a blush palette and it is a beautiful blush palette. I used every single shade in here. I used these two I think probably the most because they kind of gear more towards what I was looking for for this time of year. I do look at like corals and, and bright pinks later in the summertime honestly. I did not use this guy which is kind of like an orange highlight of sorts but I can see that it would probably be pretty but I just didn't have opportunity to use it over the last month so I will have to pull this back in in the summer and get more use out of those coral orangey colors but I loved it it was beautiful the powders are beautiful and I kind of feel that way about many 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 MUA products in the first place and the next thing I have in here is this and this is the Yensa Silk Bronzing Base I really don't know how I feel about this. So here's the story. It's not really a bronzer, even though it kind of looks like a bronzer and you guys can see that I used it actually quite a bit and it's very orange, right? It goes on and kind of creates this base for your bronzer to stick to. But because it's so orange, it really just does not look good on my skin and anything I put over the top of it, also looks kind of bad. It sticks to it and it looks very, very patchy. As much as I want to say I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna hang on to it until summer because at summer I think I could get like more use out of a warmer tone bronzer and I do have some warm tone bronzers in my collection that I can pair with it. I, I don't like it on its own though. So if it's meant to be used on it, I don't like it on its own. But I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to try it again in the summertime. And if I still don't like it, then I am going to get rid of it. And the same can be said for this, this Kevin Aquan Sun Down Deep Neo Bronzer. This is what it looks like. I just felt like when I used it, I looked really bad. Do you see how orange this is? So like I could go in this side and get like a deeper one, but it's still very, very orange. I did pick this up at TJ Maxx a long, long time ago, and I just have to say, like, I just don't love this product. But here's the true tea, though, too. Because of the shade of it, I did use it an awful lot over the top of that Yensa Balm, now that I'm thinking of it. So maybe I'll try it on its own and see how I feel about it. And if I still hate it, then I'm going to get rid of it. But as of now, it's going to stay in my collection. This is the Vesca Kissed by Santorini Soft Matte Bronzing Powder. 
I loved this. This was so, so beautiful. And the powder is so finely milled. It doesn't get patchy at all. It looks perfect. It almost looks like a natural tan more so than anything else. I would say that you can't use this obviously as, I mean, unless you're super fair skin, you can't use this obviously as like a contour. And I use a lot of my bronzers as contour and then bronze as well. You can't use it. I can't use it as also a contour, but it does partner beautifully with the NARS one that's in my project pan. I will be keeping this bronzer and also I just kind of love the packaging. I don't know what it is about this packaging that I love. I hate that it's white. It's so dirty looking but I just love the packaging of it and I think it's a beautiful bronzer. So my highlight drawer. This highlight is the highlight that I'm wearing today. Um, can you even see it? The highlight I'm wearing today. I really do love it. I think it is a beautiful highlight and I'm happy to have it in my collection. I did get this from Ipsy. I do believe it was. It's this just this really pretty um like almost champagne-y gold that kind of like shifts a little bit more like silver at times but you can put it on really lightly and it is just such a beautiful highlight that you can't go wrong with that. Then I have this guy. This is the Ciate London Dewy Stick and this is in the shade Luster. I think honestly that this was stunning. I loved this but this is so sticky and I don't know that I love it for its sticky factor but I did have an uh, opportunity a couple times to use it like on the center of my lip and I did that. I don't know that I need a stick this big to use on the center of my lips but I did enjoy it. This guy is like sticking Vaseline on your skin. That's how sticky it is. It's kind of gross actually. Maybe even putting lip gloss on your cheeks. Yeah that's what I liken it to. Um, this guy I am gonna keep in rotation because I didn't get the opportunity to use it. This guy, I love this, but not for highlight. <laughs> you know, I really just think that this should have been like a, a eye palette, smaller pens, smaller palette, because, you know, I mean, maybe if I was 20 something, I would love these as highlighters. But here's the true tea, like somebody is going to be able to use these four and somebody is going to be able to use these four, but the only ones that would be like copacetic to use on any skin tone is probably this one and this one and maybe this one here. The rest are like light skin, deep skin, like what do you got? That will be more suited towards you. I don't feel like this should have been a highlight palette. So I am going to keep this, but it is going to go in my eyeshadow palette rotation because I liked it best as an eyeshadow. So there's that. Um, the next thing is this, and this is the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette, and this is in Bronze Sands. And this is actually sad for me to say, but this is going to go away. This is going to be decluttered. I used it probably three times. I think I could probably sanitize it real well and put it up for sale on Poshmark and somebody will buy it. It's just too dark for my skin tone. Obvi, obvi, obvi. Like I didn't purchase this. I did get this and I think an Ipsy and I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. This red one I loved so, so much. Um, this one is a, like a, it's a balm. It's apply Barbados as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls. So it also is like a Vaseline kind of like sticky tackiness to it. You put it on and then you put any of them all over the top of it. But just the sheer color of this, I, I was not going to put that on my face. I didn't put this on my face. I use these two colors and both of them are just, they pull just really too dark for my skin. I won't pull for this. So it is going to go. The two primers that I put into rotation were these two. So I have the Pore Professional Light Primer. This is a benefit product and it is a newer product. It is the light one. So it's not made with silicones. It's supposed to be better for your skin and, and better for those that like professional, but don't like the silicone nature of it. And the, it still comes out a lot like, um, 
like the professional does in that it's like, did you guys see that? It's like a, like string. <laughs> I, I don't know what I expected from it. I just expected a little bit different of a like composition of it. And I think because it's like water based instead of like silicone based, I expected that from it, but it does a really great job, you guys, of blurring without having that silicone base to it. So I really didn't mind it. It doesn't feel slippy. It doesn't feel like a silicone based primer. It's not a silicone based primer. It's a really great primer. I enjoyed it. I think I liked this one just a little bit better though. And I think I liked it more so for it's like skincare properties also. This is the Tula Prime of Your Life. It is a smoothing and firming primer and I really felt like it looked a little bit more blurring honestly than this guy. It pains my heart to say. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful primer. I would probably repurchase this one over and over again before I'd repurchase the Benefit one. Such a beautiful primer. Let me show you what it looks like too. Um, the thing about this one is too, is it, it comes out more like a lotion. It goes on more like a lotion. It feels more hydrating than the Benefit one does. And I think that, I mean, you guys can see it on my hand. I do feel like it kind of gives your skin a little bit of a glow that's just really, really pretty. I would wear that one on its own without makeup over and over again throughout the last month. So then I had a powder. This is the Becca Soft Light Blur Powder. Not a bad powder. I actually did not have a bad time with this powder. So the Becca Hydra Blur and myself are not friends. This one is not bad. The Soft Light Blurring, not not a bad powder. The Hydra, Hydra Mist, Hydra Mist Powder, whatever it was, um, kind of felt like water going on your face. This one definitely doesn't have that sensation, but I feel like it is a better primer or better powder for dry skin than that Hydra Mist one. Did like it a lot. Have to be honest, I think I used both of these concealers maybe twice. I don't mind either one of them. I think that they both have like things about them that are great. I do feel like the Laura Mercier one is way too yellow for me. So mixing them together was almost perfection. But also this one I feel like would be great for my under eyes during the winter time. And this one I feel like would be great for under my under eyes. Never. <laughs> but like spot concealing. So they definitely serve a purpose. I feel like in my collection. Use both of them twice. I will continue to hold on to these guys in my collection. But I don't use concealer very often. So what I did find myself pulling for way too often was this guy. And I think this is the second shot my stash rotation that this has been a part of. This is the Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium by MAC. You guys, I just really, really love this. You can see I used the poop out of these two, the top and the bottom color on that side. I used so much of both of them. Spot concealing, under eye concealing, anything like that. What I don't love about this product is that I felt like when I was wearing this if I didn't put powder over the top of it and it was on my under eyes my mascara would find its way onto this concealer it's just emollient enough and wet enough that my mascara liked to travel to it um I hate that uh about a concealer and I don't like it to be a dry concealer but I also don't like it to be a concealer that my mascara likes to find its way to so I probably won't use this on my under eyes very often going forward because I also don't like to put powder on my under eye because I am old. I have dry skin and my under eyes are really, really crepey, especially so if they have powder on them. They look, it makes me look 900 years old if I put powder on them. So I didn't like this for that, but I do like it for spot concealing. I do like it for no makeup makeup looks like this did a really great job of helping me to like just create a consistent like skin tone on my face when I wasn't wearing any makeup. And for those of you new, I don't always wear foundation. I don't like base 
makeup. So I go without it more often than I go with it. So that was really nice for helping me to not have to feel like I need to wear base makeup. But at the same time, I went through this whole shop my stash, right? When we still had masking in place in Washington state. So there was more days that I wasn't wearing a base than there was that I was. Um, the next thing I have here is this, and this is the Glowish Foundation by Huda Beauty. This one is in light medium. I don't know really how I feel about this because it is really nice and it looks like it's going to be like maybe the wrong color, maybe even a little bit heavy. It is, if you just take a spot of it and blend it out, it is pretty heavy, but as it this much would get your whole face, if I'm honest, it doesn't even cover as much as many of my other skin tints. And I think that that's what the problem is. Like that amount would do your whole face. Two would do your whole face again, but you're still not, it doesn't build, I guess is where I'm going with that. So it also, mm, it also is really dewy. It also, I felt like I looked like a grease ball or a disco ball. Um, every single time I wore it. So how I liked it best was one dot of that, one dot of this. So this is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac and this is a tinted glow hydrator, medium coverage, up to 24 hour wear by their Stay Naked line. I am in the shade Light Medium, which is uh, shade 41. I think I could probably actually go a little bit lighter than this, if I'm honest, because this is still a little bit dark. But this mixed with this are like almost the perfect amount of coverage. This honestly, for me, is a little bit too much coverage for a tinted glow hydrator. But it also doesn't have a whole lot of glow to it. I did love this. I did love this. On its own and with this, I loved this. But I think I could go one shade lighter, maybe even one shade cooler and have the perfect shade for me for the summer or for the winter time. This is probably a good summer shade for me. I did notice in the last couple times I wore it that I looked, I appeared more orange than I would prefer. <laughs> so I do think that it needs to be a summer shade for me. However, I have both of these today mixed with this, which is the other foundation that was in this uh, Shop My Stash. And this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Bisque Medium, which is shade, I think, 38, that says. This is really light, really light. And it's also really full coverage, which is not something I love. I felt like alone, this made me look really cakey. Um, it made me look drier than I was. So it's definitely kind of a matter um, formula. And to be frank, I hate the application process of this. I like these guys. I like these guys where they squirt out, they have a pump, something. This has this hard like ball doe foot that you like are supposed to like dot onto your face, I guess. But I don't like going straight from container onto my face. I never have. So getting the product out of here is kind of a bitch. Um, also, it's just not like I did partner it with these today. And I think that my skin looks really nice today. But I also know that I will never pull for this because it's too light. It's too matte. It's too crepey. It's too drying for my already dry skin. So I'm going to declutter this too. All right, guys, we made it through it. We made it through it. So now we are going to pull some new products. Um, let me know what you guys think of the products that I just went over with you. Uh, just to remind you, I did get through, I did get rid of three products through this shop, my stash rotation, which is also something that I'm really proud to be doing through these. I'm going to pull you back in as soon as I'm ready to pull new products. Okay, guys, we're going to try this differently. I have got my phone in my hot little hands because I am going to try and record this video on my phone and then somehow get it in to everything else that I've got going on because, you know, if you've been here a while, you know, it's kind of a struggle for me 
<laughs> and there's no reason really why it should be. So let's just start. This is lips. Y'all know this is lips. So let's start with lips. I'm not going to pull anything from over here because this is all like lip scrubs and stuff like that. And I've got that one that I'm still kind of working through. And lip balms I pull as I need them or as my daughter needs them also. So we're just going to come over here. Let's start with lip liners. So I feel like I always pull this one in. So we're not going to pull that one in. But I do feel like maybe... These aren't the only lip liners though either, so. I'm gonna pull this other NYX one in because I do wanna see if that consistency of the, you know, the dryer formula with the last NYX one is accurate for the NYX brand overall. I'm also gonna pull this one in. I do feel like if I really put my mind to it, I could get this one done and over with soon or maybe it can be one that I pull into my project pan after we're done with the shop my stash this is buxom a plump liner in dolly danger I also let's see let's go into the color pop ones I think that one's too pink though Okay, I think I'm gonna pull in this one and this one is an obvi so I'm gonna have this lip liner, this lip liner, and this lip liner. All right, let's go over to, no, I don't, I think I'm gonna just pull one of these in because all of these are the same age and I'm kind of wondering if these are, why can't I even get it out of here? Because everything's in there so tight. Let's move this. Let's pull this one out. This is Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. And this one is in the shade Venus. And it's just kind of a brownie, like almost corally brown color. It's a liquid lipstick. And now that, you know, our lips are showing again, I might use that. Okay, so for lip crayons, I think I'm going to pull this in. This is Clinique Chubby Stick. And this is in uh, Curvious Caramel. I do like that. I haven't used that before. I think as far as these lipsticks go, let's try this one. This is NYX Lingerie Push-Up. This is a long-lasting lipstick, and it is in the shade. Is that the shade? Lip Lip Bowl? So 6, or is Push-Up the shade? But it says Lingerie Push-Up right there. So I'm just not sure what the shade of this is, but that is the color. It looks very similar to this one, only maybe a little bit more brown. I am also going to pull this in because this was from my aunt and I just don't know anything about this brand, but it's kind of a darker mauve color. So we're going to pull that one in as well. See how we like those. Move these guys over here. I'm going to put this one up front so they don't all roll away. All right, lip sticks. Too pink, I think. Maybe not anything in this drawer. Pull this in. This is Jeffree Star and allegedly I do like this shade. So we're going to pull that one in. I also think I want to try a couple more of these Clinique ones. So I'll get a little bit more of a berry tone. And then of course a neutral also. So these are the two that I'm going to pull in for this rotation. And these guys, Plum Pop and Blushing Pop. So we're going to pull those in. I'm not going to pull in any of these because I have all the bullet lipsticks that I want. I forgot that those bullets were in there. These are all of my lip glosses. And I do think that I want to pull in a couple that I have never used before. Let's do this, one. this is a lip oil. This is by Tanae. So I did get this in Ipsy. These both came in Ipsy as a set. This is a lip oil in Plumeria Petals. I am going to try that one. It's kind of got this like dual chrominess to it. So I'm kind of interested in that. I also think we're going to try these two. So I've got this one by Half Caked. It is a lighter pink one. It is in the shade Rich Rich. I kind of think that's pretty. But I am also going to put this one in here. This is by Estate. And this one is in the shade Goody. And both of these, I think, came from Ipsy as well. So there's that. And I also just kind of want a clear gloss. 
gloss in here. So this is Revlon gloss and it's just the gloss and it's clear as you guys can see. So we're going to pull these in and then this is liquid lipsticks. But I already pulled in a lip a liquid lipstick and I just don't foresee myself wearing any more than one, honestly. Liquid lipstick is not my thing. So I'm going to pull in these. These will be the lipstick choices and let's move on to another category. Okay, I think next category is going to be base. You guys can see all my base stuff here. This is just a little peek at my station here. It's kind of crazy messy. I think I'm going to flip you like this. Yes. Let me know, you guys, if this is making you sick because I can't imagine that it's not, <laughs> if I'm honest. So, all right. So here is what we are going to do. So we are going to pull in Yensa Essential Glow, and we are also going to pull in Pore Professional Hydrating Primer. So the last time we had the light primer, this one is a silicone base. It is hydrating, so maybe I'll, I'll pull in that one. Yep, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna pull in for the primers. And then for foundations, I do think I am going to pull in, I, this doesn't appear like it's a window, but I'm wondering if that is that color because that looks really dark. But I think I'm going to do this. This is a tinted moisturizer. I'm going to do this one and I am also going to do, let's see, let's pull in this one too. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Y'all, I bought this because I loved it in the sample that I used and then I haven't used it since. This is in the shade Y218. I do think that this is a good color for me and that is a little more full coverage. And then I am also going to pull in this again because I just want to see how I feel about it all over again because the first time I used it I absolutely hated it this one I feel like looks in the bottle like it's a little too yellow for me um but I think that if I mixed it with this or if this guy is too dark then I can mix it with that that it would be like a perfect shade for me I do think I got too late too light of a shade for myself this one is in Fair Lady T1N so I will try this again and that is it for foundations, I do believe. And then when we go into concealers, I'm going to pull in this one by Dosa Colors. And this one is in the shade Light Neutral, which seems like that's not light at all. But we will see. I am also going to pull in this one because if that one's not light enough, this one will help it be light enough. This is a Becca Longwear Ultimate Longwear coverage, and this one is in the shade. I don't know because I can't read it because it has the smallest print on the planet. So anyways, this one is by Becca. So we're going to pull that one in. I do think that it is way too light, but I also think that if I partner it with this guy that it might be okay. And that is it. Actually, I'm going to bring in this one. This is new. Um, this is a new concealer from uh, Benefit, and it is the Bright On Concealer. I do have it in the shade Lychee. This is gratis. This was given to me by my um, brand partner, so we're going to try that out. Um, these are just uh, liquid liner, or not liquid liner, gel liners. I don't pull any of these guys in because I use them at will. And then for a powder, I do like to pull in a powder with every single one so that I get more familiar with the powders in my collection. Let's pull in this by Terry powder. I mean, I'm really excited to use this. I do think I got this. I can't remember. I think I got this in my lucky bag, but I've heard really great things about the by Terry powder. So we are going to try it. And that is it for base. So let's turn around and look at some other stuff. All right, let's start in here. Um, we're gonna do single eyeshadows. Now I always have my two single eyeshadow, you know, palettes, but I also like to pull in like a liquid eyeshadow so that I can really get a grasp on my liquid eyeshadow collection in here and potentially see some like deplete from my collection because they're just old or whatever they are. So 
I am going to pull two of these guys. I was going through my Stila's, but I think I just kind of want a break from Stila. So I think I am going to pull in this one from Natasha Denona. This is her Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow, and this one is in Infra Nude. I did get this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, so I will pull that in. But I am also going to pull in just a regular old, you know, color one. And I think that this is probably the best bet because it is older in my collection and I have seen it kind of separate just a little bit but this one is by CoverGirl um this is one of the exhibitionists and this is in um shade five whatever that means it's very bronzy so I'm gonna pull that one in and then we're gonna call that good and then over in my drawer of single eyeshadows forgive the mess right there that's everything I've collected for my shop mustache at this point in time but I always pick a primer, but I do have a primer in my project pan, so I'm not quite certain what kind of primer I need to pull in. But I also feel like I maybe just need to pull in that, that primer that I had in last rotation because I do think I'm going to pull in a couple pigments. So maybe that's the primer that I will pull back in. So this is the primer that I'm going to pull back in. And remember I said this is super sticky. So I do, and it does state on it that it is a pigment base. <laughs> so I'm going to pull this in specifically for the pigments and the glitters that I pull in this rotation of the pencils that I'm going to pull in. I think, honestly... Let's pull in this by KVD. This is one of her Dazzle Sticks. And you guys, it is so, so pretty. Look at that. So I have a bronze and then I have a gold. And then let's also pull in this one here, which is like a greenish, like blue color. This is called Sapphire. It's one of the Revlon Color Stay Glaze Sticks. Super excited to try that guy out. Then we have all of our pigments and our glitters. I don't think I'm gonna pull a Super Shock in this time because I do have a Super Shock I'm working on in my project pan. But I do think that I wanna pull in a couple of these guys. So this is a Loose Pigment by Bare Minerals and this is in the shade um, rustic or no Pacific Heights. It's kind of like this, like purple gray color. It's so, so pretty. Um, but it's been forever since I've used it. I also think I just really want to pull in like this one here, which is ripples. It is a loose pigment and it's kind of like this silver pink. So I think I'm going to pull in those. And I think that's it for this drawer. My blush drawer is out of control, if I'm honest. This needs to probably be decluttered sometime soon. I think we're going to start with bringing this in. This is a cream blush by CoverGirl. And I got this in gratis. I haven't even used it yet. It is in the shade Sweet Innocence. And I don't know. I think I want to try it. So this I got from my mom. And I think that this will be interesting to take along with me too. This is a cream blush and then a balm. So it is a double date lip and cheek um, product by Wonder Beauty. I'm not the biggest fan of Wonder Beauty, if I'm honest. A lot of their products just don't work for me. But the top is in uh, Sweet Talker, which is the blush. And then the bottom is the what they're calling the base, but it is in Swipe. And this is the balm. I would carry this around for like uh, one for lips, one for cheeks. And maybe that's what they meant it to be. That was given to me by my mom. I do you think I want to pull this in? This is um, a product I got from FabFitFun. It is one of the ambient lighting blushes in Incandescent Electra by Hourglass. And this is what that... Ooh, I almost dropped it. This is what that looks like. I'm really super excited about that. It's a really like light pinky tone and then I think I need a darker blush just because I've got a couple of light tones here. I have this one by Melt. Yes, I think this is what I want. So this is one of the blush lights in Fire Fury and I do think that these are like blush highlight hybrids. 
I also know that I bought this like a year ago and haven't even tried it yet. I also think maybe, I don't think I want to bring in a palette of sorts. What's back here? Just these ones. Okay. Um, maybe this one. This is by Ciate London. I do think that I got this in Ipsy as well. This is a marbled light blush in Burnt. I think I had one, either this very same one or one like it in my samples at one point in time. But you guys, look how pretty that is. I do think that that'll be a lot like Mood Exposure from Hourglass. So I'd love to um, partner it against the Hourglass, the actual Hourglass one that I have and see how similar these um, formulas are. But then we are going to move on to bronzers. And I think, you know, when I think through the lens of bronzers, I don't know that I want to bring in much for bronzers in my collection. I think, you know, I think I've had this in my collection for five years and have never even used it. Does that look used? Okay, I've used one shade and I haven't used anything else. So I do think that I'm gonna pull this in. And I think I've got a good mix here of contour and bronzer. So I don't think that I need any other bronzer in because I do have that NARS Laguna bronzer also in my project pan. So I think I'm gonna pull this in and then these are highlighting palettes. Let's do this one. This is a face palette and it's actually by Mellow Cosmetics. And I actually have a code for Mellow cosmetics that I can put in the description box for you guys. It, you guys, it's, you know, it earns me pennies <laughs> if you use it to purchase, but it gets you like 15% off um, as an affiliate. I do have that, I guess, but um, this is by Mellow Cosmetics. This is the Stardust Glow Palette, and it does, it's in light medium. It does have a blush. It also has a bronzer, and then it has highlighters. So this is what it looks like. So we've got blush, bronzer, and a couple of highlighters, and I do think that this will help me feel more fulfilled in <laughs> in what I've got going on in my drawers. Um, it does look like I've used them before, but those were just swatches, if I'm honest. And this has been in my collection for a year as well. So I'm going to pull that in, and that is going to be it for that. And then we're going to move over to single highlighters. All right, this is single highlighters. And like my blush drawer, my highlighting drawer is also out of control. Now I've gotten rid of some of these through like Shop My Stash and stuff like that, but that truly is few and far between. Also know that I have um, one highlighter, a liquid highlighter that stayed in rotation because I didn't use it from the last pull. So I'm not going to pull any liquids in this time because I just find that I just don't use them. So instead we are just going to go straight to these guys here and I do think I think it's been a very long time since I've used this so I think I'm going to pull this in. This is the Shimmering Swan Glimmer of BS Highlighter by um uh, pretty vulgar and at one point in time I loved this it reminds me a little bit of the flesh one that we just had in rotation but I am gonna pull that in let's pull in this one by Ofra this one is in Covent Garden and this one I have never used as you guys can see nor have I ever used like a version of it that I might have otherwise like blissful I was going to pull in but I've used that one it used to be one of my favorites so I know I love it this one's also got a little bit of a different like uh, like color scheme than this one. This one looks very icy champagne and this one is very like pink. So we're going to pull that in. I think I also kind of really want to pull in this just because it's been in my collection forever. This is the Own Your Light. This was a limited edition and just look at that. It's such a beautiful packaging but it's kind of um, a coral toned like almost multi-tone um, highlighter. Yeah. I do think that that's probably it that I'm going to bring in for my highlighters because I also have the two highlighters in the Stardust palette and then I have the matte ones in the Park Ave Princess palette. So I think that's it for highlighters. Okay, one thing I want to talk about before we go back into this 
is that I forgot about this. It was sitting up here and I moved it to get into my powders to pull a new powder for this rotation and remembered that I also had this in rotation. So this is the Bare Minerals. Um, this was a retractable brush that I got from them. And inside of it is the Mineral Veil Powder. And there's not a whole lot left inside of that. And this brush was the most awful thing to use on my face. It's so pokey. This guy, you guys, is like 15 years old at this point. Maybe maybe 12 to 15 somewhere in there um I've had it for a very long time and that powder isn't old powder it's newer powder but I'm gonna get rid of this so this is actually the fourth item that I am decluttering from my previous shop my stash because this is just so old it's uncomfortable to use on my face these days uh the brush is anyways I will never pick up this brush again and that product that's in there there's not much left so I'm willing to like just kind of dump it out because I can't unfortunately get it back into the original like packaging that I pulled it from because it's All a right, sifter after so. situating everything um this is what I need to fit into those <laughs> So that ought to be fun. But I also was really just putting stuff away, putting everything back over here. And I really just sat and thought about this guy. And I think that this is going to go too. So like I said, it's like putting Vaseline on your face. I really do think that it's pretty. It's gorgeous. But I just don't see myself pulling for it because it was just kind of uncomfortable to wear because everything stuck to my face. I found myself more self-conscious with it on than anything else. So I am going to get rid of this as well. So those are the items right here that I am decluttering out of this. So we have five items that are being decluttered out of my last shot, my stash, and this is what is left. So we are going to put you on fast forward and kind of make sure that all of this stuff gets into these bins and then we will come back and get you out of here. All right, guys, I think this went a lot more smooth than it has gone in the past. I hope that you can hear everything. I hope that you can see everything okay. Uh, I do think that I can do this in the future with me just holding on to my camera. I'm hoping that, you know, it's not too jumbly or whatnot. And hopefully whatever, like, mistakes are made throughout this process... I can fix on the back end uh, through edit editing. But for now, these are my drawers for Shop My Stash. I have eyes, lips. This is um, 
what is this? <laughs> this is blush. This is bronzer and highlight. And then this is base. And man, my base one is super full, but, and my bronzer one is not my bronzer and highlight. Usually it's the other way around, but I don't care. That's where we're going to sit. That is my Shop My Stash rotation. These here are my Project Pan guys. So I do think that I'm going to start putting these back in with these because otherwise I forget that they're there. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you love Shop My Stash and I hope that you loved me and or my video. And if you did, I hope that you'll want to subscribe. Like I said at the beginning in the intro, I hope that 2022 is treating you all kindly. I hope that you cruised right through March and your April to cruise right through April. I hope that you and yours are safe, that you're healthy, that you're getting along as great as you can in this crazy world that we're living in right now. I also hope that you are loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, bye guys.